Hi guys, uh, Peter Ebster back again. I uh, hope you're all doing well uh, in this time of great depression, I w I'd, I'd say. Um, I hope you're not all sat in supermarket car parks waiting for deliveries because we will be seeing the way it's going because we're running, running out of food. So, anyway, I hope you're all well and happy and virus free. We'll show this COVID-19 where to go. But I'm back today with a unboxing video. And this is from the lovely guy at Unseen Universe, Mitch. And I've never had a mystery box off him before. I've always had tarantula mystery boxes, but... Uh, with all the tarantulas I've got in here at the moment, um, I don't need no more tarantulas because I've got my collection and my grandson's dad's collection in here as well. And the, the whole invertarium looks like no man's land, literally, it's terrible in here. <coughs> But I do have an 8 foot by 12 foot uh, shed coming that's going to be put up next to this one. Which will be having all my hobby equipment in. All my 3D printers and laser printing and cutters and all sorts. So I'll be able to design things and cut them and build them in there. Without having to clear the bench off when my good wife's been feeding my babies. Now let's get into it guys. I know you've probably got more important things to do with your time to carve through it like this. Hopefully there's nothing stuck to the edge. Looks like there's two boxes put together here. down there as well. Right. Oh bloody hell. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one says box three. Peter. Oh, so that's one. Um what we've got in this one. I ordered, um, actually ordered box one, two and three uh, mystery boxes which was for the intermediate stroke experience keeper. So we must have box one and two in here. <coughs> Dr. Andrew Mitchell. Okay. <laughs> Random cardboard. There's his card, guys. Right, box two. And... Right. There we go. Let's start with box one. First out the box. SCU Morales. No idea what... The common name is for this little fella. But I don't know if you guys think it's wise to be far away because I can't get near the table. No. He's a little beige coloured guy. So we'll pop him down there. Sorry if the viewing ain't that good, guys. Next one we have a H. Orientalis. Nice pink net in there. He's on top of the tub. Okay. That's two. Next up. We have the... Oh. Zebra. Zebrata. I could only imagine that's some sort of zebra mantis, but there you go. 
There's a little guy there. You're taking photos again. No. Okay? Trying to see me. Can you see? Yeah, I'll point up to the camera. Just the Okay. That's the, those first three. Uh, I don't know if there's any more. Uh, I'm running out of space, so I'll have to plug them down the side there. Right, I've got another layer here. Right, the next one is a a D Trigonadera or Trigonadera. That's a nice looking thing. Uh, I've never seen any of these before. These are all new to me. That's number four. We have number five. Which is the D. Desicata, who's at the moment chasing around the fruit flies that are in the tub. And there's that little fella there having a run around. And number six, to conclude the box one, which is the D. Lobata. He's a green. A greenish coloured little one in there. So we have six for Mystery Box 1. Make sure there's nothing else jacked under here. No, it looks like that's clear. Right, let's get move on to Box 2. Oh, is this one going to be in a parcel? He pack in the middle of them. Still toasty. Okay. I'm getting in a bit of a state here. Make sure. Now that's all that one in there guys. Um so I'll pop that down there. Oh shut up. I can empty anything into there. Right. Oh okay. What you sent me, Mitch. Looks like a net. A net enclosure. Sorry, little mantis, and I am freaking out. Ah, oh, that's why. It looks like I've got a little communal of them here. So, there's that. Oh, okay. Uh, Very many people. So sorry about this. I'm not very prepared at all. Another little net enclosure. Right, is there any right? No. Mm -hmm. Aha, right. These are Ganglius Gangloides. Oh, ganglius, gangla, gang, oh my god, gangulus, gongiloids, or gongilos, there's so many in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the little guys in there, and a lovely little, uh, I don't know, just turn them that way around, that's the way they're supposed to be, I would say. And there we go, guys, there's six of them in there. Gongulus Gonglaudis or Gongilaudis. Right. That I believe that was all Mystery Box number two. <coughs> which come with the next, obviously to Rio those little fellas. Right. So I'll move on. Box number three.
Right, first one out of this box, the H. Coronatus, which I know that's the... Um, orchid Mantis. The Orchid Mantis, yes. Oh, uh, ice on the ball here, guys. I know who's going to be climbing that one. Uh, oh, hang on, we got, I'll follow up on that in a minute. The next one is another Orchid Mantis, another H. Coronatus. Hang on, where's that? Oh, that's the male, and that's the female. So I've got a pair of those little buggers. Lovely, thank you, Mitch. Uh, bloody hell, these heat packs are good, Mitch. Right, a big tub here <coughs> with a big guy in it. This is the Danuria species, a giant grass mantis. And this one is a female. That's a lovely looking mantis. I've definitely haven't seen that one before. So I've, there's only one here that I, I know of, the Coronatus. I've never heard of any of the others. Let's <coughs> put that there. Hang on. Everyone should have one of these in their cupboard. Thanks for the order. Best of health to you and your yours, Peter. Best wishes, Mitch. Right, what we got here? It's heavy, whatever it is. Oh. Oh well. Thank you very much, Mitch. I know Kung Fu <coughs> on Scene Universe. How about that, guys? That's nice of him, isn't it? And there's the Kung Fu Mantis. I'm well happy with that. <coughs> I've got another one in here. <coughs> Right, we have a G Ammonia or Amenia. That's the little fella up the top there. I'll put that there, make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh, I'm going bloody hell, there's more. Next, we have a N Rare. Ah, this is a <laughs> female Macromantis. God, she is pretty. It looks like a shield mantis. Look at how pretty is that? Wow, well, Mitch, you're blowing me away, my friend. Oh my God, there's a gorgeous one in here, Marie. Oh my God, here's another one. Uh, oh, the etr etr uh, yeah, a higher muscular. That's the giant forest mantis. I know that one. So that's two that I know of. Uh, another. Oh my god. Bear with me, guys. I'll just drop one. Right. And we have a female higher muscular Asian mantis. So we have a pair of those. Huh? Now the next one we have the P. Pseudonacanthrops species rare, and this one is also a female. Oh. Uh, bloody hell! She's lovely. She's like she's got like moss grown on her ass. That's pretty, isn't it? No. Looks like it's got a flowery moss. Ah, another one here. Uh, this, was that the female there? Uh, yeah, that's the female. And this is another female. This is the Acanthops erosula, the Peruvian leaf mantis. And this is also an adult female. Yeah. That's massive. Oh, she's so 
I'll make sure there's nothing else in it. I don't think there will be because that's just that, that's blown me away. Right, that's what's in the box. Now, bear with me, guys, while I get some order back in my uh, little area. And we'll unwrap the next thing before, before I knock everything off the table. This one just got a little label on. It looks like a little note in there as well. Which I will read. And this one says, a surprise mystery box. There you go. Let's have a look what he said. Right. Hi Peter, thanks very much for the order. It's really appreciated. I was hoping that you might mention in your video that I now sell a wider range of inverts which I'm doing now, as well as mantids. I'm now selling spiders, uh, currently just sling, tea slings, available at the moment. But I have a bunch of trues and scorpions on the way. You shouldn't have said that, Mitch. I'll, I'll be buying every, every one of those true ones off you. I'll be buying the lot. Um, just trying to spread the word I do all this stuff. Now I hope you don't mind asking. Cheers. Of course I don't mind. Guys, you've seen what he's, uh, what he sent me here for three mystery boxes. What are you waiting for? The, money, the money's running out at the banks. And I'm advising folks to empty the banks. Well, it's hard to empty when you've got no money in the cash point. So, don't bother going to the banks, get on the, the website, get to Unseen Universe. Tell him Sir Peter sent you, not Lord Peter, and we'll go from there, right. Aha, we have a Salmon Piercemania. You are. It's just... Uh, See if I can have a look at this little fella without with slicing me hand apart. Oh wow! There she is down there. I didn't expect this. I'm happy with her because I actually lost my female uh, Armenia a while ago. Talking of losses, I actually lost my T-cellar down here and my alga face spider the other day and I'm gutted. Right, an agent? You want an agent, do you? I want oh, you got one? I'll see if anybody wants an agent. You are having me a meaning though, that's mine. Have a look what this one looks like. Again, chunky little butt down there. A canter school here, Jenny Colata. Not that I need to tell you what an agent is. And finally, we have a, uh -huh, a Brazilian blue, a ten and a pound of Sazimoy. Or Brazilian iridescent blue. They go by a couple of uh, different names, guys. I actually have a, a sub-adult female, one of these, and they are stunning. And they're also bloody quick. Uh, so I'll see if I can get, a foul, get it on camera before the little bugger darts. Yeah, there it is. A piece, as am I. Right, those are the new inverts that I've had in the collection. Now I'll show you what reptiles I've had in the collection. Can you pass me just the one down? 
many of you might have seen them on my Instagram feed but I've recently purchased a pair of and I believe it's been man and female after seeing the pa the packets that come with come on these are tricolored hognose I have that little girl there and I also have a little a little lad at the top slightly different colour I'll get this one put back and I'll see if we can get the other one down there you go And I believe this one to be my little male. He's darker than the actual female. And he's also flooded his place out. So he's got to be changed up soon. There he is. Nice and toasty. Happy as a pig in dung. Oh, there we go. There's the two, two of the reptiles that I've recently acquired. Thanks to my friend Kieran. Now the next one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one out to show you, but I shall try my best. And come on, how do you open these bloody things? That's it, you can grab it by the top. Oh, my little one. Dad, you got too close. Oh, Christ. Come on. Here we go. Here's my new little girl. This is Amber. And she's a red face and below panther chameleon. And she's adorable. Look at the colours on her, guys. It's like salmon pink with, on. I don't know whether you'll see, on the, the side of her face has got blue spots. I can count eight blue spots on, on the side of her face. She is adorable, and this is actually a gift off Ryan and my daughter Kirsty. So I'm um, okay. It's just off Ryan taking the glory for himself as usual. Right, let's put her back. There we go, and in she goes. I've had a, a lot of bad luck with losses lately. Losing my chameleon, a couple of my snakes passed away. No apparent reason for it, guys. They just cease to exist. An empty tub where my tea cellar down here used to be. Oh, she's actually still in there. Uh, I was gutted because she that was the ninth malt. She actually died the day after she malted which is heartbreaking so I think that's it guys I've showed you everything that I've got to show you once again check Unseen Universe out subscribe to his newsletter so you don't miss any of the updates that he's got coming to the site like I just said he's got scorpions and a lot of true spiders on the way and I will be keeping an eye open for those. Um, as well as, well, you can see how many mantis have we actually got. Two, four, six, four, six eight, 13. ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one mantises there, guys. And we hadn't even got one, had we? Yeah. No. My, uh, my Malay blue female passed away after she ate her partner and we were hoping for the news but it didn't happen so he didn't get the deed done before she ate him that's a bit selfish really isn't it but that's life in the invertebrate world so if you've enjoyed my video guys please like comment and subscribe i read every comment and i always reply to every comment yeah. now two ways about it that's what that's what i like to do so you don't think that I'm uh, ignoring you.
Uh, like I say, check out Unseen Universe. Check out my other videos. And while I'm on, I'm going to do a couple of quick shout outs. Uh, the first one, I'm going to shout out my good friend Gandalf Kaz. She's having some serious issues at the moment with YouTube. And I'd really like to get her up to 200 plus subscribers. So I'll pop a link in the description down below for her channel. It's Gandalf Space One. She's a lovely person. She does an amazing Friday Night Live when she can stay, keep the live open without YouTube shutting her down. Uh, no need for it. She's absolutely amazing. She's a lovely person. Does anything for anybody. And next I want to shout out one of my amazing American friends. And that's Magnus. Uh, A.K.A. Mags. Mm -hmm. A.K.A. House of Invertebrates. Mm -hmm. He's an amazing guy. He's got a, an awesome app that I want. And he's got a lovely collection, so I'll pop his link down below as well. Check him out, tell him Pete sent you. And uh, you, won't, you won't be sorry. And finally, uh, I'm going to have to shout out the lovely Greg Allen Rose. Because Greg is such a good friend, such a nice-hearted man, and his wife Rachel. He deserves to get way past 300, 400, 500 subscribers. He gets a bit low when people don't uh, watch his videos. So subscribe to him guys. Leave him some really nice comments again. Tell him Pete sent him. Pete sent you. And then uh, and if any of you want uh, a shout out to your channels, let me know in the comments. And the next video I'll do, I will be more than happy to shout you out. And that's it for me, guys. I'm getting out of breath. Not coming down with COVID-19. That can go shove itself. But we can beat it if we all stand together and follow the government legislations, guys. You know, the other say, tissue in hand, cough it, kill it. Bin it, and I know there's not a lot of people out there doing that. If need be, guys, and you've got to get out, get yourself a face mask, but make sure it's a medical grade one. Don't get buying the cheap tuppenny ones because they're rubbish. What? The bag of rats out. Oh yeah, uh, another thing. My uh, two rats. Uh, Pinky and Perky had babies, 13 of them to be precise. Grab a couple. Grab a couple. I can't. I've got a couple coming out and I'll show you guys. There's a few of them been already claimed. But any left over, I shall let any, everybody know. And if you can come to collect them, you can take them away. Just waiting for him to, because it's like climbing Everest to get over to the back of the shed now. Yeah, ready for about five weeks. Now, like the wife said, yeah, between five and six weeks before them ready to be parted anyway. Have you caught them? Yeah, I've got two. Ah, right, here we go. I've got two on the way. There's the adorable little buggers. Come on. She's got a one. Can you get me don't get running off. Right. There we go, guys. It's going to be awkward because I don't want to... Can you see them? Yeah. A little white one here. A little ground white one there. <laughs> and them really adventurous little souls. I'm not letting them get near my mantis because they will make a nice munchy meal for them. So... Yeah, Ryan, right. grab that one. This one I'm trying to crawl up my arm. But in the sweet, guys. So let's see. Yeah, enough waffling, Peter. You've said enough.
So, like I say, guys, stay safe, take, take precaution, don't get raided in this supermarket because the more that they get raided, the more that's going to hold back the staff being able to st stock the shelves. And if you've got a, an elderly neighbour next to you who you think needs a little bit of help, perhaps just a quick word to say hello. Please, guys, go around, say hello to them, offer them a tin of beans if need be, because people are compulsive buying, and the elderly of our, of our modern world suffer the most. And please, guys, love you all. This is me, Peter Webster, saying I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.